Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another COD Mobile video. Today I'm gonna show you pretty much every free character skin in Season 4, so definitely make sure to watch the full video, and with that being said, here we go. So, first things first, let's start off with Seraph Cat's Mao, a very bright skin which you can unlock through the Lucky Board rewards. Overall, not a bad free skin. Next we do have Archangel Night is Lit, which is available at Grandmaster 3 in BR Ranked. Personally, not a fan of the skin, but on the topic of rank rewards, you can select one of three old rank seasons and grind and unlock the rewards through the Reconstruct tab. The options in terms of characters is as follows, Skyla, Dark Quill, Grinch, Pipe Bomb, and Ruin, Retching Bull. Moving on some more, next we do have Park, Spirits, and Spec Ops 2, Side Scale, which are both available in the daily mission crate. Prophet Gilded Armor is the new daily blogging character, available at day 24. Personally, I don't mind this skin at all. Oh. Seraph Fallen Fiend has returned through shards available in seasonal and featured events. Releasing later in the season through a seasonal challenge is FTL Bewitching. Honestly, a very clean skin, one of my favorites so far for the season. Also, at some point in the season, this rare Elipium C skin should also release for free. Not sure how, but it should be free. On the topic of skins releasing later, we do have this rare Outrider, which should also release at some point for free in Season 4. Next we do have the new themed event character, and that is Azure Prophesized. Honestly, so much better than Lost Seasons Carver Butcher. Actually a really nice skin overall. Next you have a chance of unlocking the following characters through crates. So in the epic crate crate, we have Battery, Wasteland Warrior, as well as Captain Arctic Blizzard. In the rare crate, we do have Terence Brooks Digital Hide. These are just old skins, so nothing really exciting. What is exciting though is the new World Championship rewards. In terms of characters, we do have two. So first in stage one, we can unlock Sophia Midnight's Edge by completing all 40 games or by earning all the rewards in a particular phase. It's a reskin, but it's a good one in my opinion. The next character is the Mere Tactical Intercept, which we can unlock in stage two of the championship. So, okay. Moving on some more, these next characters we can unlock in the following way. So we can select one of the following three, being Spectra Bones, Battle Hardened Neon Fire, or Xena Thunder, through the Golden Week Challenge event in the final crate we unlock. Moving on, these next rewards are for new players. So once a new player has logged in for a total of seven days, they can select one of the following skins to keep. That is the OG version of Gaz, Soap Hazmat, or Outrider Dark Strobe. Next, we do have rewards for returning players, who haven't logged in for about two weeks. So, returning players can select Lurch Gumshoe in the return training event. Once you've made your selection, you get the skin for a total of 14 days till you complete the event and earn 180 points. Then you unlock the skin permanently. You'll also be able to get Spec Ops 5 Victory by earning points in this event. And you can also get Spec Ops 5 Space Man in this event by doing the Day 5 missions. Moving on some more, next we do have Zombies Rewards. Yes, you can still unlock these. So for characters, we do have Spec Ops 2, Co-Pilot at tier 35, and Tank Dempsey at tier 40 in the Zombies Pass. But yeah, I have a feeling almost everyone has these already. Moving on, these next skins are all part of the clan store. So first things first, we can purchase Firebreak's new outfit known as Future Projections as well as shrouds for him through the clan store. Also to mention, we can get shrouds for Ronin, Firebreak again, Farah Jin, and Iskra Kill Switch through the clan war chest. I say this every season, but we seriously need a new clan store character. Cod Mobile, please make it happen. Moving on, in Garena and the CN version, you had a chance of unlocking this collaboration character for free, being Firebreak Alley, as they gave away some crates for free in both versions. However, they gave away such a small amount that your chances were really low. Again, in Garena, you can unlock Russian Merc, Hounded, and Spec Ops 3 Sacred Venom through an exchange store event. Do note though, this event ends tomorrow on the 7th of May. Next, we do have an honorable mention being Garena Redeem Codes, which come out every other week and give you trial versions of characters. It is not permanent, but it definitely has a space on this list. The final free character is going to be Ghost Stuff, which you can receive by linking your account 
to an Activision account. But yeah, I'm sure most of you have done that by now. So, okay, that is a bunch of free characters you can earn in Season 4. Definitely give me your thoughts on them down below and let me know which is your favorite and why I would love to know. And with that being said guys, that is going to be all for today's video. So thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and for now, squally out, and cheers, catch you the next one, and bye.